Take a look around your neighborhood and you'll find unique qualities that make it unlike any other town or city. Same goes for Miami Lakes, a town that's over 50 years old and continues to thrive off its unique landscape and ongoing growth. It has a unique architecture um, that has a main street, tree-lined streets, uh, a nice combination of uh, almost 100 parks. It's kind of like a Mayberry, uh, a Mayberry that also has an industrial and commercial sector. All of these attributes credit the master plan that the Graham family established and all of the property has protective covenants meant to protect the community. It, it was planned so well that, you know, 60 years later, you still have the tree-lined streets. It hasn't, you know, it hasn't been overgrown, hasn't become all industrial. Uh, the, we don't have a bunch of eyesores, so it, it's, it's unique I, 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 in its character. Lake Patricia Shopping Center has been around since the opening of the town and has been a symbol of what makes the town thrive. Each shopping center in Miami Lakes is made up of small commercial operations. Each neighborhood has a shopping center close by. Most of the shopping centers are, I call them mom and pop shopping centers. They live in the community, they work here, they do their groceries in the same grocery store you do. Um, and so when you go in there, you're not only going to get, for example, a haircut, you're actually going to see a neighbor as well. Alongside the Graham family's master plan came the help of landscape architect Lester Collins, who is credited with establishing the creatively shaped lakes and parks. Together, the two sides have helped Miami Lakes garner various awards, praising the landscape work which continues to attract people to live here. You know, this is a neighborhood community. You know, this is a, you know, I, I, I recently had a, a good friend of mine, a commissioner from Lakeland, come into town and I drove him around and he was, he was amazed. I mean, he kept talking to me about it saying, look, this is a beautiful town. How did you guys do it? And I said, it's a lot of hard work. You know, I didn't want to take the credit and say, you know, it's, it's Manny Sid that did all this or it's this council. It's folks from the 1960s on. So there you have it, a mixture of community and business, which is why Miami Lakes has continued to thrive for so many years. It is a claim for its landscape and which is why there is continuous growth in the town. If you look at Miami Lakes on a map, you'll see why this is evident. Business-wise, um, I think one of the reasons why we thrive is because of the location. We're able to capture on the northern, um, because we're in the northwest, you're able to get um, businesses from Broward County as well as Miami-Dade. So in, um, companies that are looking to kind of cross the border, it makes our, our little niche up here in the Northwest uh, kind of a hidden gem and, and ability to actually get more work done. And that's what you see with a lot of the businesses we have here. It's, it's families handing it down to the next generation. The town has over a thousand businesses and houses 30,000 residents. According to the town's economic development department, the town still has room to grow, and soon enough, there will be more changes made. But one thing will remain a constant, a combination of beautiful communities and business. I mean, because the amount of money w that we spend in beautifying and maintaining the quality of life, nobody else in, in I think, throughout this county, throughout South Florida, invests as much as we do into our community.